受け取れはい、guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 most iconic bleach moments. For this list, we're going to be going over the most famous and emblematic moments for this classic anime. We'll be excluding fights in general, as those have several lists already made. Specific moments from fights are eligible, though. Think we missed a key moment? Let us know in the comments. And if there's another bleach list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo and let me know. Number 10, Ichigo becomes a Shinigami. It's only fitting that we start at the beginning. The series' first episode introduces us to the protagonist, Ichigo Kurosaki, as he meets Rukia, a Shinigami. When a hollow attacks his family, Ichigo tries to defend them, but Rukia takes an attack meant for him. Too injured to continue, Rukia offers to transfer her powers to Ichigo. She ends up giving him more than she planned to, however, as the fella takes on the mantle of substitute Shinigami for the very first time, big ass blade included. And the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> Number 9, Orihime's Farewell. Upon discovering that Orihime can alter fate with her powers, they threaten her and her friends into willingly becoming their prisoner. However, Ukiura gives Orihime the chance to say goodbye to one person. Orihime chooses Ichigo. With her friend unable to see or hear her, Orihime talks to him about her hopes for the future and tearfully confesses her feelings for him. It's all manner of sad and one of Orihime's most memorable moments in the series. It also marks the transition between a more innocent period in the story and a full blown war. <laughs> Number 8, Final Getsuga Tensho. Ichigo's last battle with Aizen is loaded with epic moments, but this one leaves them all behind. In order to bring the fight to a close, Ichigo activates his final technique, the Final Getsuga Tensho. Instead of using his signature move, Ichigo essentially becomes it. The power this grants him is immense, but it comes with a cost the loss of his Shinigami powers. Still, for the short time it lasts, this form is every shade of cool, and the blow Ichigo deals Aizen, while not fatal, is still enough to reduce him to a shell of his former self. <laughs> Number 7, Renji begs Ichigo to save Rukia. Renji initially comes across as kind of a jerk, given that he helps bring Rukia back to Soul Society for her execution. However, after he's defeated by the main lad, we see through an extended flashback that Renji and Rukia have been friends for a long time. Renji sees himself as unworthy of Rukia, and he feels guilty for not doing more to prevent her imminent death. Following the conclusion of the flashback, Renji tearfully begs Ichigo to save Rukia from her fate. It's a great establishing character moment for Renji as one of the series' very best. Kurosaki! Number 6, Shinigami Captains to the Rescue. Ichigo and his friends go to the land of the Hollows and Aizen's base of operations to save Orihime. However, they initially get no help from the Shinigami. Who are unwilling to risk their forces before the coming conflict with Aizen reaches ahead. 
things begin to look dire for Ichigo as they are cornered by members of the Espada. Nanda. Just in the nick of time, who should appear but four Shinigami captains to save them all from impending death? This is when the series really began to garner a second wind. Number 5. Ichigo is killed by Ukiura Ukiura is one of Ichigo's toughest opponents. The fourth Espada is practically emptiness incarnate, and our hero's fight against him is an uphill battle from the start. Still, he remains optimistic that he can pull victory from the jaws of defeat, at least until Ukiura blows a hole through his chest. Arahime and the audience are naturally distraught. Ichigo has taken a lot of L's throughout the story, but this is easily the most gruesome. However, Orihime's cries for help lead to Ichigo doing the impossible and coming back to life in hollow form, and giving Ukiura some despair of his own. <laughs> Number 4. Ichigo debuts his Bankai it was the rematch everyone was waiting for. After coming in clutch to save Rukia, Ichigo found himself once again crossing swords with Rukia's fearsome older brother. Bankai. The cold Shinigami captain had proven himself to be a formidable opponent, but not even he was ready for Ichigo's reveal of his newfound trump card. Small in scale but big in power, the unleashing of Tensa Zangetsu is the most famous power-up scene in all of Bleach, as well as a seminal moment for Shonen overall. Number 3. Ichigo and Rukia's Goodbye After using the final Getsuga Tensho, Ichigo loses both the title and the abilities of a substitute Shinigami. But no longer having an awesome sword and outfit is just one of the side effects. Losing his powers also means that Ichigo won't be able to see spirits, including Shinigami, anymore. After waking from a coma, Ichigo prepares to say goodbye to Rukia. Laced with both humor and sorrow, their farewell is a touching bookend to their relationship. <laughs> While this didn't end up being the end of their friendship, or the story for that matter, if it had ended here, it would have been satisfying. <sighs> Number 2. Aizen's Betrayal The Soul Society arc is fantastic in its misdirection. Halfway through, Captain Aizen is murdered, and all the clues for the audience point to Gin as the culprit masterminding Rukia's execution. But the twist that Aizen is still alive and that Gin is his accomplice blew everyone's minds. Sayonara. And then, to follow it up, he proceeds to wreck multiple Shinigami captains and even stops Ichigo's Bankai with a single finger. To cap it all off, he bounces from Soul Society, promising to sit on the throne of heaven. Not only is this a mind-blowing twist, but it also raises the stakes of the story and sets up the villain perfectly.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ichigo Saves Rukia The goal of Ichigo and his friends going to Soul Society is to rescue Rukia from her execution. When the moment finally arrives, Rukia seems sure to die, surrounded by Shinigami captains, with her execution method being a phoenix with the strength of a million Zanpakuto. But like any good hero, Ichigo knows how to make an entrance. Yeah. Ichigo! He arrives just in time and manages to stop Rukia's fiery execution in the most casual of ways. Rukia. The whole Soul Society arc has been leading up to this, and it didn't disappoint. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.